Hey, this is Vic JC, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension to find profitable products to sell on Amazon FBA. I'm also giving away free mentorship or coaching call with me, so make sure you watch the whole video to find out how. Now, the first thing you need to do is get the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Now, I have a link in the description for you that will get you the $20 off of the Jungle Scout Chrome extension and will also be a one-time lifetime purchase. Jungle Scout have recently changed this to make this a annual subscription. Now with the link you get a lifetime subscription and $20 off. So make sure you go and use the link before it expires. Now all you would need is the light version. It has absolutely everything that you would need to make sure you do your analysis properly to make sure you got the right product. I have the pro version because that's the one that I like and I feel like it's really beneficial to me but really all you would need is the light version. Now in the last video we found all of these products so we found the disposable wedding party plates, we found some more that were doing really well, we found this one gallon water bottle, uh, we found this uh, rubber band, but we don't actually know what it does, uh, an edible rectangle wafer paper and we also found uh, 100 engraved border letterhead sheets, um, we found super thick uh, safe sleeve large currency bill holders, um, baking uh, cups, we also found these bags, these uh, matte double sided coloured uh, stand up bags as well. And these were all doing really well using the Jungle Scout web app. So. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go back to the last video. That's part one of this series. I'll put the link down in the description so you can go and check that out as well. So how do we use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension to analyze these products to make sure we've got a profitable product? So the first thing you want to do is grab the title over here and you want to put that in to the search function within Amazon.com. Now this is not the broadest terminology that we're looking for, but I'll go into that in the next video. But let's take, for example, the disposable plastic plates and go for that. Now the next step is to load the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, which will load over here. Now as you can see, the Jungle Scout Chrome extension tells you the price, uh, it tells you the monthly and the daily sales and the revenue that people are making every single month and also includes the reviews over here. So how do you actually go about looking at these numbers and determining whether this is right for you or not? Well, I've got an ebook that I actually follow. It's the FBA stars, the Amazon FBA five rules to find a profitable product to sell. And I'm going to use the rules that are within here to make sure that we've got the right product. Now, the first section and the first bit that we want to look at is the price. Now, we want to make sure that we find products that are selling for more than $20. So does that meet our criteria? So as we go down this list, we can see that almost every single one, in fact, Every single one, apart from this one over here, is $20 or above. So that meets our criteria. And it's the first 15 that you want to check to see whether that meets our criteria. Now you can do an extensive search if you want and go right down to the bottom, but I would strongly recommend that you stick to the first 15 because that's ideally where we want to land our product and start making some money within the first 15. So that meets our criteria. So the next step is to look at the revenue. And within the revenue, we want to make sure that seven out of 10 top sellers uh, should be making seven to 10,000 every single month. And I'm going to explain exactly why that's the case. So let's first check that at least seven out of 10 or even 10 out of 15 people are making more than $10,000 every single month. So let's start here with the non-advertised uh, products over here. So that's a yes, that's a yes, yes. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's included, eight, nine, ten. So we've already, the, we've already met the criteria there. Now let me explain why that's important. Now let's say all the total of the top 10 to 15 adds up to, let's say, 200,000, for instance. Now the idea is that you work your way up to the first top 15 listings and you're in this space over here. And as we said, if this adds up to 200,000 and you're within the first 15 listings, you're going to take a share of that 200,000. Now let's say that you take 10% of that 200,000, which is $20,000 every single month. Now that's a fantastic start to building an Amazon business. And that's why we look at the revenue in the way that we do, because you are going to take a proportion, a share, a cut 
of that $200,000 that is spaced out between the first 15 sellers. Now the next step is to look at the reviews. Seven out of the top 10 sellers should have no more than 100 reviews. Not more than one of them should have more than 1,000 reviews. So that's quite easy and simple. So we need to make sure that we have relatively lo low reviews over here and that seven out of 10 are less than 100. So that's pretty simple to look at. So we can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's kind of short of what we're looking for. We're looking for at least seven. But if we scroll slightly down, we've got a seventh here, we've got an eighth here. We can actually take that into consideration and stretch it a little bit. I would say this is borderline passing the test of the reviews that we are actually looking for. So I would still keep this in mind because it's on the border and we want to make sure that we don't just throw away opportunities and we want to see whether we can come into this market and actually make some serious money. Now, if you're interested in the competition in winning a mentorship or coaching call with me, make sure you comment in the section below and let me know what issues you might be having, having with Amazon FBA or what questions you might have or want to ask with me when you're on that mentorship call with me. The winner of the call will be announced next week. So the three things you need to do is you need to write the comment below, you need to like this video and make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. Now the next step and something you probably won't find in any other videos is this. When you're looking at the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, make sure you scroll over to the side and you can see this section here called sellers. This is the amount of people that are actually selling this product under one listing. And what it can do is it can skew or it can throw off the results that you're actually looking at. So let's look at this, this listing over here that says it has eight people selling the same exact same product. And what you can see is that the revenue here is 40,000. So imagine most of that revenue is probably going to the first person that's selling this product or the person that's won the buy box. And that's the box on the right, right, right hand section um, of the page and shows when you hit the buy now button, it, it buys from that specific person. Now remember, the rest of this also needs to be split up between the other sellers. But it's highly unlikely that the majority of this is going to the other seven or six or seven sellers. The majority of this is going to the first seller, the, first, the person who's winning that buy box on the right hand side of your screen. So make sure you watch out for that as well. You don't want to be competing in an environment where there are tons and tons of sellers. This is okay because as you scroll down, you can see there are only one, two, three sellers. And three is absolutely fine because that could be the exact same person selling that product three times over within their listing. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to check whether this product is seasonal or not. So within your Jungle Scout Chrome extension, you'll have a button over here and it shows Google Trend Report. Now if you hit that button, what it will do is it will open up Google Trend Report and it will tell you the interest over time for disposable plastic plates. And what this does is this tells us how seasonal this product is. It tells us when the increased demand is and when the decreased demand is over a period of 12 months. And you can also change that to five years if you wish or a certain period of time. Now we want to make sure that we keep this to the United States because that's the market that we were looking at. And what you can see here is that there are major dips that happens throughout the year. But the majority of the time you can see it's currently floating on the 50 mark as you can see. It doesn't touch the zero line over here which is what we are ideally looking for. And as you can see, it's on the up rise over here. Now, if you want to check whether this product is growing in interest over time, you want to check it from 2004 to present. And what you will see is the line either going up, down or staying the same. Now, as you can see, if you look at the bottom line over here, the bottom line seems to be increasing over a period of time. It seems to be going upwards. So that means the interest has been growing since December 2014 over a period of at least four years. So it's the growth of this product uh, has been pretty good but slow over the last four to five years. Once we've checked the product is seasonal or not, we can go back to our ebook over here and we can see we've done the seasonal section here and we need to look at the size and the weight. Now, as I mentioned, we want to keep it under two pounds. You can keep it under three pounds, you can keep it under four pounds if you wish but you also need to check the size and the size of the product as well. Now, if you want to grab the free copy of this ebook, make sure you click the link in the description. You can grab it for free. All you need to do is put in your name and your email address 
and that will be sent straight to your inbox. So make sure you check your junk mail if you are getting that sent over to you. So the next step over here is to go and check out how we can actually go about differentiating ourselves from everybody else if this is the product that we want to go about selling. So let's take, for example, this product over here. It's uh, the disposable plastic plates and there's 60 pieces. So let's click on that for example. And all we would do is we would scroll down slightly over here where it says frequently bought together. And you can now start to see what other people are actually buying with this product. They are buying the plates. They are buying a silverware set with it. And they're also buying quality disposable paper napkins or tissues, depending on what, what country you're from. If you were able to put that in a package together and sell that, it's likely that you're able to sell this product and do really well on it. Now make sure you go down the list of all of these products and you check what is being recommended by Amazon so you can start to get a really, really strong idea of what the market, what customers are actually buying with this product and how you can go about bundling these items together. Now for the next step in the process, make sure you watch the next video. I'll put a link in this video around here or I'll put a link in the description for you too. And there's also another chance to win coaching and mentorship with me in the next video. So make sure you watch that now. I'll see you there.